Hi, this is Rafał from Krumilus. In the last video we were talking about hiking gear and today I'm very excited because we are talking about my thing. Today we are double checking our bikepacking gear. Like in the last video we were not talking about every specific item from my gear list. Today I'm not going to show you every single piece from my gear, but I'm going to give you some tips uh, from my bikepacking setup. Let's start from the back. So here we have the saddle back. And because this bag uh, is the biggest from our setup, but at the same time it is the least stable, I definitely recommend you to pack here the lightest, but at the same time the biggest items from your gear list. In my case, this is the uh, complete sleeping system, uh, which I'm going to show you right now. When it comes to my sleeping system, uh, I keep everything in my saddle bag. Uh, in case of bikepacking, we are limited with bags volume. Uh, that's why I like to use things which are small after compression, easy to use and light. Instead of using tent, I use BV bag. And instead of using foam mattress, I really like to use during hiking. I use the inflatable mattress here. Uh, my uh, own personal tip is to keep everything together. That's why you can see I take my BV bag out of the saddle bag and right now I've got everything inside. I've got my a mattress inside the BV bag and I've got my down sleeping bag uh, in the BV bag as well. All I need to do is to inflate the mattress and everything is ready to go. Next we have got a frame bag. Uh, in my case this is a half one but on the market you can also find a full triangle uh, frame bags. Because this bag is in the middle uh, of our bike packing setup and also this one is the most stable, I recommend you to keep here all the heavy but smaller items. For example, tools to repair your bike and all the spare parts you need during your bike packing trip. I like to uh, keep here uh, all the small items I will need during my fast breaks. For example, this wind shirt. This is uh, our windy wendy jacket. As you can see, uh, this is a great piece of kit because this is a very small, very light, breathable, and the new cut is more towards uh, cycling. The very nice small detail you can see here, I have protected my bicycle frame with a piece of tape because the bag's attachment points could leave a very small bad looking scratches which you definitely don't want on your bike. I have decided to use the half frame bag because I really like to use bidons rather than the hydration system. But as you can see, I haven't got much space between my bottle and the frame bag. That's why the very nice idea is to use the side entry uh, bottle cages rather than the top entry. As you can see, I can easily use my bidon along with my half frame bag in this case. Next, we have got our top tube bag. I would say that this one is the worst looking, but at the same time, the most effective bag during the ride. That's why I keep here all the small items I would probably need during the ride. 
They are very uh, easy accessible without stopping. That's why I've got here my energy gels, energy bars, my phone and spare batteries for my lights and GPS. Those were my tips. Have you got your own? If so, please leave a comment in the comment section down below and as always we have got a small surprise for you. You probably don't know, but in the past Cumulus produced bicycle panniers. They are not available to be purchased, but in our new challenge you can win this small retro handlebar bag and our new Windy Wendy jacket. Everything you need to know you can find in this video's description. That was Rafał and I will see you in the next video.